When it comes to software delivery and operational performance, the DevOps Research and Assessment, or DORA, has developed metrics to measure the effectiveness of organizations' development and delivery practices. Hi, I'm Cesar Saavedra, Technical Marketing Manager at GitLab. There are a total of five metrics, which are the following four, plus availability. These metrics can be used as a common way or an industry standard to compare how well organizations are doing, but they can also help leaders and teams measure and improve what matters in relation to their software delivery and performance. We'll cover the change failure rate metric, defined as a percentage of changes to production that resulted in degraded service and required remediation. The specific feature introduced in GitLab 14.10 that we will cover is new DORA metric API change failure rate. For a GitLab project, the specific calculation for the change failure rate is the number of incidents divided by the number of deployments during the time period. For this MVC, this metric is only available for production environments. Let's see how this new feature works. Here we see the GitLab project name plan exec, which has five close incidents within the last three weeks. Also notice that this project has had only one deployment to production indicated by the successful run of this merge request pipeline in the last three weeks. If we run the API for the change failure rate for this project with a time interval of daily, which is also the default, we see that on April 5th, the rate was four and on April 4th, it was one. These add up to the number of incidents that were resolved on these dates since we always assume one deployment as the denominator of this calculation. For the monthly interval, we see the value is five, the total number of incidents resolved in the last month. For the all interval, we also see five. Let's head over to CICD pipelines and run the pipeline manually to increase the number of deployments to production to two. We rerun the API for the change failure rate for this project with a time interval of daily, and we see that there is a new entry for today, April 27th, with a value of zero, since there hasn't been any incidents created today. When we rerun the API for the change failure rate for this project with a time interval of all, we see that the new rate is 2.5, which is half of the previous value since we now have two deployments to production. The calculation and display of the change failure rate DORA 4 metric provide insight into the effectiveness of your development and delivery practices without having to spend time calculating this metric by hand. It also helps you better measure and improve what matters in relation to your software delivery and performance. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time.